Okay, that worked. Seems to still be working. That's very good. The very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. You're in violation of secure communication procedures, Condor. So we just went ahead and fixed the glitch. There is no America. There is no democracy. Our fifth objective, a new world order. There are no nations. There are no monsters. There are no Russians. There are no Arabs. There are no third worlds. There is no West. right wing conspiracy. What do you call it when the assassins accuse the assassin? A new world order. Thank you for plugging in to the Stones Unturned podcast. Well, just a second there, Professor. We, uh, we fixed the glitch. I'm your host, Professor Thomas Henry Horan. He reads everything. Hello there, you lucky devils. You better bet your bippies he reads everything. Uh, welcome to a special Thursday night episode of the Stones Unturned podcast pregame on YouTube. <clears throat> I am Professor... Did I, did I mention I'm Professor Thomas Henry Horan yet? Have you seen me on TV? Have you seen me on TV? I ran into a guy in town who saw me. We were... Yeah, and like, this, our other buddy didn't believe him, and they had a little bet going. So I finally ran into those guys. He's like, were you, on, were you the guy on the thing about the Zodiac? I was like, yeah, it's me. If you haven't read this book, you don't know anything about the so-called Zodiac Killer case. All you know is the myth, starting, started by Gray Smith. The actual police reports, the actual ballistics, the actual fingerprints, autopsy, tell a very different story. So you start with this book, which debunks Grace Smith's book page by page, using nothing but the actual police department FBI documents. And then you can skip the middle third of the book the first time through. It's an academic, it's like a dissertation kind of on um, vigilante journalism in the Bay Area in the late 19... Well, all the, the history of vigilante journalism in the Bay Area and, and, the, and the creation of the serial killer archetype, blah, 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 right? In the third part of the book, <clears throat> I tell you... Well, I show you what actually happened in each crime, what the witnesses really said, what fingerprints they actually found, and then I show you how we know exactly who wrote those letters to the newspapers. And then, and, and then at the end, there's a, there's a perfect match in the handwriting. I'm a forgery expert. Fraud, insurance fraud, forgery, poison pen. I've never seen a better match in my life. There's, and, and then this guy turns, what's well, not in the book, okay, the documentary series, which is, I think it's on BBC right now in Britain, and um, it has, I think it's still on Peacock streaming service. It's been on Oxygen. It's been on other NBC networks all over the globe, if I may say so, and apparently I must. But somebody I know was like, hey, were you on TV last summer? So yeah, that was me. I was very pleased. Um, that's like chapter two of the story. And then you'll get the next couple hundred chapters here on the Stone's Unturned podcast. Okay. There's so much more, but you need to start with the book. You really do. And then, and it, it has to be a book. So they didn't turn the book into a documentary. They read the book and then they went beyond. They fought, they, they followed up on the book. And um, I'm so, I'm just so pleased with that documentary. But that's only chapter two of the whole story. Then, in addition to Zodiac, I mean, not only can we prove links like this between Zodiac and Manson and Son of Sam, but right up to what's going on right now. But, uh, as you know, the tubes have ears and they're very ticklish. So we have to do it on my own private streaming website. Okay. Click the link in the description of this YouTube video and get signed up. It's $9.99 a month. 
you get to see all the Zodiac documents. You get to see their special Zodiac discussion boards. There are all kinds of private discussion boards. They're hosted on my server. Um, I got my own for the for the premium live streams. I have my own private video streaming server offshore. So that's secure. As secure as anything in me. And if, if it means anything to you. But I can say what as I please. I do not do the stupid things that that disinfo props dupes like Alex Jones do. I don't do that. It's not necessary. There's real concrete evidence that's actually available to the public. If you just know where to look and you know what you're looking for, there, there are the names, there's the connection. And that's what we do. We filter the chicken salad out of the chicken shit and throw the chicken shit away. And we follow up on the chicken salad, and then we go ahead and crack the case. These cases are not that mysterious. But, the, but these myths that build up around certain cases, that's not an accident. That is part of the plan, as you shall see. So what we're working on right in the immediate present is um, Sandy Spook and Columbine and how they follow. You can see the playbook. Like, it goes back to the phony kidnapping of the Lindbergh baby. Believe it or not. That, that's the, and of all these cases, that case is spookier than JFK. <laughs> there are so many, like every spook that has anybody ever heard of is directly involved in the phony kidnapping of the Lindbergh baby. And that's just, and that's not even the weirdest, the, that's not even the wildest thing about that case. But you have somebody being framed and somebody being obviously framed and then somebody being framed for the frame. This is a playbook that they invented about 100 years ago. And they they have been using ever since. Different generations take it over and they modify it to meet current conditions and their education and their background. It is a real thing. The octopus is a real thing. Maybe he wasn't right about every little detail or he... The internet made it possible. Instead of having to travel from city to city to city and pay fees and dig through by hand, dig through all of these public records and property records and the most mundane things will prove that this thing is 1000% real. And I knew they would. And they kept talking about this internet was going to come out and they were going to scan every document that was ever written or typed ever and put it on this internet. It would be searchable. And I thought, well, that would be cool because it would take hundreds of years and millions of dollars in fees and travel expenses. Then you have to travel back to Kansas City because now I know what I'm looking for. I can go on the, we, anybody can go on the internet now if you know what to look for. And just what am I paying? Maybe 20 bucks a month to subscribe to a couple of things. You can find all the information you need to prove all of this to yourself. You can keep going. And that's also partly what the podcast is about. I show you, I'm a professor and I make PowerPoints about my current research, which is supplemented and sometimes <laughs> dwarfed by material that the subscribers send in to me. Uh... And it's like I'm writing a book or, you know, I'm working on this with my graduate students. So that's what the website and the podcast are all about. So I don't dox anybody. I don't invade their privacy. I don't like, it's not necessary. In fact, all of these, they're, they're synthetic conspiracy theories. The re, like Alex Jones and this ridiculous conspiracy theory that the Sandy Hook shooting was was fake and no kids died. That's a... That's an unbelievably stupid conspiracy theory, but it didn't just happen because some random idiot in Austin, Texas just happened to think of it. They've been doing that for over a hundred years. And that's what this podcast is about. So you can start with Son of Sam, like Maury Terry was on to something. We uncovered concrete evidence Maury Terry was on to something, but he was... Whether whether he was a willing dupe or a dupe is you'll never we'll never know, 
but he was fed and he published a lot of false information, but it had enough truth mixed up in it. But it turns into this unrealistic conspiracy theory. It's just a little unrealistic. And then the actual police reports from the Son of Sam case have, have been coming out. There's a guy who's been getting for you. He's been sharing everything he gets, and they're telling a very different story from, from the Son of Sam that was Klausner. And then it also tells a different story to a great extent, but does corroborate a lot of what Maury Terry was talking about in his book. How is that linked directly to Zodiac and the guy I can prove six ways for Sunday in court? I have, this is, don't let the good looks fool you. I have been a fraud investigator, forgery, poison pen, private investigator for close to 40 years. Part-time, most of the time part-time. But let me tell you something. These things are not coincidences. <laughs> and we can prove it. And it's easy to prove. It's actually easy to prove. But, but then we've even gone so far as to nail down specifically where these synthetic conspiracy theories are coming from. Part of the plan is you generate this ridiculous conspiracy theory. Make, it, make everybody think it went viral. Maybe it does go viral. Then you debunk it, which would be very easy to do, partly because you made it up yourself anyway. You debunk that publicly, very publicly. Then anybody who asks any more questions is instantly shushed. Oh, that's just another crazy conspiracy theory. Well, there is one conspiracy theory that isn't crazy. And you don't have to take my word for any of it. Get plugged into the Stone Sun Turn podcast. You can watch the most recent episodes. Now, there's quite a few episodes. 20, you can binge watch episodes, okay? I'm not breaking any laws. Uh, I'm just, but we, some topics are just, you know, the way, the way conditions are right now. We have to be cautious. Hi, channel. Hi, Dustin. Hi, Dave. Hi, Joey. I do play one on TV. I play one. I love myself on that show. I prepared my whole life for that role. I can't believe they let me do it. <laughs> you found something on the Riley Strain Nashville case? Okay, thanks, baby bull. See what I mean? It's the buckaroos. It's not me, it's the buckaroos. Hey, Anthony. Let me talk about some news, even on the YouTube freeloaders, and even the YouTube freeloaders are authorized to see. This thing about this ship crashing into this bridge. Hold on. Is this Thursday or Friday? This can't be Friday. This cannot be Friday. This cannot be Friday. Let me check this really quick. No. Okay. I just have to make sure. Let me mute the audio. There we go. There. There I am. Oh, this, it's the Thursday night episode. So on YouTube, I drag in the politics. I don't drag in politics on the premium. Think of it as commercial free. Think of the premium channel as commercial free. And it is commercial free. You people pay for it. And it's awesome. It's awesome. You need to join. I would join. I would join this website. Why won't Biden court the anti-Trump GOP? 
This is an article in Politico. This is the totally nonpartisan Politico. Remember how nonpartisan they are. The guy who, the CEO is Bill Clinton's top fundraiser or something, or Obama's top fundraiser. He grew up next door to Hillary. It's it's a totally nonpartisan, but it's well they they have a great staff. It's but it's very partisan. It's incredibly partisan. He seems to have lost his personal touch when it comes to Republicans he needs badly in the fall. They, th they are urging Democrats to vote for Chris Christie. This is what they have come to. This is what they've reduced themselves to. This is what they have stooped to. They are foaming at the mouth with fear. And... <laughs> Maybe they're right. I won't argue about that. What I'm saying is, look at what they're doing that they didn't do to Nixon. Nixon, the, the, the prosecutor, one of the prosecutors in the Nixon case, the Nixon impeachment or the Nixon, they were getting ready to prosecute him before he was pardoned in advance. The prosecutor in that case said what they're doing to Trump is ridiculous. The guy who hung Nixon is calling what they're doing to Trump ridiculous. I just think it's hilarious because there's a point where <laughs> there's no eyeballs left to scratch. They're out of, there's just, they're admitting to themselves that there's no stopping Trump. He's going to win the election. If there's an election, he's going to win it. He's already won it. <laughs> they have been, they brought up, they went and dug up Ross Perot and Weekend at Bernie's Ross Perot this week. Oh my God. It's there. Everybody, Chris, don't you see how Chris Christie is, needs Biden? <laughs> Remember Hillary bragged about having over 100 Republican endorsements. Remember that? And she's wondering why she didn't win. <laughs> All the Republicans love me. She literally, literally bragged every day about her Republican endorsements. <laughs> now Chris Christie is going to save them from Trump. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Trump has a kryptonite, but let me assure you good people of one thing I know deep in my bones. This ain't it. <laughs> I don't know anything about soccer, but I once worked at this junior college. Was that the first college I ever worked at? And... They were, had all these international students. And just down the road was the junior college soccer state champions. So just for fun, we got up a scratch game. And I remember sitting there talking to one of the host families. They, we had a girl on our team, okay? And I just remember ta telling the host fathers, I don't know anything about soccer, but I know when somebody's getting their asses kicked and they're, they are getting their asses kicked. Then a fight broke out, and we won that. <laughs> this is this is not a worthy adversary. This this is not a worthy adversary. This this is a man in black pajamas. This is not a worthy adversary. <laughs> Send me everything you have on General William Emery, the man who mapped the U.S.-Mexico border, because I'll bet you he's as spooky as a $3 bill. I bet he's as spooky as a $1 bill. You ever notice how spooky? You ever look at a $1 bill? It's spooky. Look at George Washington. Look at how he's looking at you. Look. 
with his teeth like he's chewing on a bone. Have you ever noticed that? Somebody said that he had a really, really poorly fitting set of false teeth. I think it's, look, you know, George Washington University is a Masonic University and it is Spy School USA. Look at the symbolism on this thing. There's a pyramid. There's a pyramid with a little pyramid floating above it. And the little pyramid floating above it has got an eyeball in it. It's all this gibber jabber. E pluribus unum. That's what I say. E pluribus unum. Buki is a $1 bill. They say it wasn't his generalship that won the, the American War for Independence. It was his spy mastering. So they said he was one of the great spy masters. They invented a lot. He invented a lot of modern spy craft. That series turn is pretty good. Now, they really do a hatchet job on poor Major Simcoe. He was actually one of the, one of the good British. They just trash him and robert rogers was too old and too fat for the american war for independence he was a big player in the french and indian war seven years war that, that's where he was a big star but they got his character i think very right and every paratroop outfit every special forces outfit in the world their very first textbook super soldier 101 is uh robert rogers robert rogers rangers manual Rogers Ranger Manual. There. Climate change could affect timekeeping, that he says. Star Trek could have used you. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot about this. I saw this this morning when I woke up. Climate change could affect timekeeping. <laughs> what, what, what time do you have? <laughs> I don't know if it's this $2 watch. <laughs> the, the, the climate change. I was late for, sorry, sorry, boss, I'm late, I'm so, am I three hours late? It must be climate change. <laughs> uh, I beg your pardon. What's the definition of a cult? <laughs> it's just obsessed. It, and they see it everywhere. You know, it's like the, it's like they live, except when they put their goggles on, they see climate change everywhere. <laughs> well, <laughs> tomorrow, climate change. Number one cause of cancer. <laughs> Democrats sound alarm on RFK Jr. and new running mate Shanahan. ABC News. Democrats sound alarm. I thought he was supposed to be taking votes away from Trump. Isn't he a Democrat? Isn't she a Democrat? <laughs> <laughs> All he can do is take away votes from President Biden, one the Democrats said. <laughs> Don't you see who the real victim is here? <laughs> and a Kennedy. He's the last Kennedy. The last Kennedy kid. He's the <laughs> doomed doomed but they can't honestly think 
Biden could last another four years. Obama aged 50 years in eight years. Druidic initiation of the queen. You don't need sound for this. It's a silent film anyway. This is Elizabeth II's mother. Is this rare footage? I don't know. I've never seen it. I am a closet royal watcher. I do know. I'm, I, I'm aware of what's going on. <laughs> See, the thing is, you would think, oh, finally, a member of the royal family got cancer, and now they can be more relatable to the people you don't understand. These people, and especially Elizabeth, I mean, she still believes that they were royalty because they were superior beings. They thought they had superior genes. That's why they had to only marry other nobility. Now her son and her granddaughter-in-law have cancer at the same time. Like all normal human beings are susceptible to. But that's not supposed to happen. I mean, the foundation of the government is that the, the, the king is superior to everyone else. Like literally a superior from a superior race. This guy says something really interesting. I don't remember what it is. Um, he worked on the sister ship to the Dolly, the ship that crashed into this bridge. And he was just talking about how this is not supposed to happen. He said, the gist of what he said was, and I hadn't thought about it. their excuse supposedly is that the ship lost power. And he said, ships this size don't lose power. Like, you know, the engine room on a ship this big is the size of a factory. They don't have, it's not an Evan Rude, okay? It's not some, it's not some uh, Penny Annie aircraft carrier or, or cruise liner. This thing is a city with a city full of supply, you know, cars and everything. This is a city. You don't, it doesn't steer like a car or a bus. It's, it skates across the surface of the ocean. Like a ship that big and that massive. It, it's like driving on greased ice. It takes miles to just turn. It's it's not it's not like this. It's not on rails. It slides and slides and slides. It skims across the ocean. And he said they don't lose power. <laughs> there's no such thing. It's be nonsensical to say that they lose power. <clears throat> but there's another one. Yeah, right in the non-binaries. I'm just, just gonna. It's not funny. Is it? Is this a Masonic thing? Is this Masonic? I don't know. I never joined the Masons. And if you are a Mason, you're not supposed to tell us. It's something. But who, some of these little countries, you know, who knows what their little protocols and rituals are. Call Kanye crazy, but he's not in any of these court documents. So, here's the full clip of the ship hitting the thing. The lights go out. Like this guy was saying, that's really not, that doesn't happen. Lights come back on. Now it's too late. He also said it's not going to just go into a skid because the power cut out. <laughs> it's just going to keep going straight. But another guy said something even more interesting. And I, I knew there was something bugging me. But he said, where are the tugboats? A ship like that's not supposed to be going under a bridge like that without tugboats because you can't steer it. 
he goes, he, I don't, he, he was saying, because he works at a port that's similar to that one, similar size with a similar type size of bridge. And he said, you, they're not allowed to go through there. With, there have to be tugboats because they can't steer themselves in that kind of a tight space. There's no way to do it. Did they delete this video? No. Have you seen this? I guess this is real. This is Chinese police security camera, live security camera video it shows everybody's name. They're already identified, their name, their address, everything. They've been identified by facial recognition cameras. Cars are recognized by their license plates. Oh, this video, watch these birds disappear. They come from the right side of the screen and they'll disappear as they get halfway across the screen. See that? They just disappear. I don't know if this guy, it didn't look like it was fake. Well, I mean, I mean it's obviously it's fake. I don't know. What is the point of this video? The UFO got him? I don't know. Has anybody seen this? Has this been debunked yet? Yeah, Otani claiming that a series of hoax distress calls near Baltimore. We'll listen to these on the on the premium stream. This was funny. I'm not making fun of anybody's religion, but Judas, we still on for Friday? Jesus, Friday? Judas, yeah, the Last Supper. Jesus, the what? Judas, uh, supper, a uh, normal supper with the fellas. <laughs> that is pretty funny. There's a theory that says Justin Timberlake was made to sacrifice his unborn child with Britney Spears in order to have a successful solo career. They dated from 99 till 2002. She terminated the pregnancy before they split in 2002. Then in that same year, his solo career began with his super successful song, Like I Love You. I don't know if there's any evidence for it. Yeah, all the truth about Diddy coming out. Yeah, this disgusting video. Watch this. This video, you don't need sound. This video is hilarious. <laughs> anyway. Biden claims he took the train over Francis Scott Key Bridge many, many times, but the problem is there are no rail lines over the Francis Scott Key Bridge. <laughs> yeah, here's a guy talking about it, the tugboats. But there's something even more suspicious about it. We'll watch this clip on the premium stream. One hailstorm demolishes thousands of acres of solar panels in Damon, Texas. Look at this. I'm all for the so Texas is just... You think Texas would be the last state to try something green and look what's happening. God is destroying their attempts to go green. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, I'll tell you guys a story about, about that last power outage. If I maybe I told you already. Yeah, watch this cat jump off of this. It's like a bobcat. It's a wild cat or something. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Uh, We will listen to this clip. I don't know how you feel about Candace Owens. I just heard of her. This clip is kind of interesting. Watch this turtle. <laughs> Watch this turtle. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> when you type up Alzheimer's and all the links are purple. <laughs> this is me. This is me. I've done this. <laughs> Not with the word Alzheimer's, but... <laughs> A recent study has found that women who carry a little extra weight live longer than the men who mention it. <laughs> That's it. The CEO of the company that owns that container ship just died six days ago. That's right.
Margaret Chow's sister-in-law? No, not Margaret Chow. Who? Um, CEO drowns. You'd be surprised how Angela Chow, CEO, foremost group, foremost group, key bridge, accident. CBS News, who owns the ship called the Dali, named after, named after Salvador Dali, the Grace Ocean Private, a Singapore-based company. Chartered by Danish container shipping company Maersk. Synergy Marine, founded in 2006, provides a range of ship management services. In other words, this is, uh, this is a shell inside a front, inside a riddle, inside a mystery, inside an enigma, inside a shell, inside a front. Inside a shell. With a shell around it. <laughs> with a with a proxy with proxy shareholders. <laughs> it's parent company, Unity Group Holding. So foremost group. Watch it be the parent company that owns the parent company. The global leader in dry bulk shipping. About us. So this is their, comp she was their competitor. Angela Chow. Oh no, okay, all right. So this is the company she worked for. And... They are competitors of the company that actually owns the ship. Because the company that owns the ship is Grace Ocean Private. They're Singapore-based. And foremost is New York, Austin, Hong Kong, Shanghai, and Imari. So they're direct competitors. And she just died a few days ago. And now her competitor's ship just crashed into a bridge. <laughs> Yakuza do not play. Yakuza do not play. Yakuza don't play, man. Forget Yakuza. Zabatsu do not play. The Zaibatsu does not play. They don't play. That is interesting. I hope you enjoyed watching me type my pithy comment. <laughs> I am really good. I could really get off some really good comments. John Stewart's ragging. Oh, you watch on the premium stream. I'll get that started in a minute. Yeah, this dog actually shakes his head. No, I won't. Okay. All right. So let's get headed over there. Let me see. Baby bull found something in Riley's strain. Hi, Sea Pines. Lard and order, Chris Crispy. He has lost some weight. New sheriff's coming to town. Hi, Earl. Hi, Fire Pixie. Message retracted already. 
Hi, Deb. Oh, that's a good question, Deb. Hi, channel. Elaine. Maersk, Memphis, Babylon, Jason Goodman, George Webb. Oh yeah, what did happen to Jason Goodman? He must be playing in he must be playing another character somewhere. Goodman's on substance, patron. Several several other things. Substack, stupid spell check. Subst oh, Substack. Substack, patron. Video footage of Legend of Laser Beams coming above. Yeah, Dub, that's what I was asking. I've got well, I've got a clip. But I think somebody said it was not from a satellite, it was from a plane. Because a satellite laser, a carbon dioxide laser from that high up to that much atmosphere. But uh, I think somebody said, no, it's a real laser, but it was a, it was a plane. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm very curious about that myself because that sure as hell sounds like a dry run. Because they have that whole area roped off like it's a nuclear test site. What about the blue roofs? That one lady said she turned her sprinklers on when she left. But a firestorm like that, that doesn't always help. But if everything is soaked. Goodman crowdsourced the truth, right? Hi, Anthony. As phony as all the Apollo missions. <laughs> Okay, I'm not falling for that this time, Anthony. <laughs> okay, so everybody get subscribed. Just, you're missing so much that I cannot tell you on the tubes. So, thank you all very much. Um, oh, no, 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 let me get the other one going first. Let me get the other one going first. Did everybody, was everybody able, you should be able to cast, there's a cast button and everything. I'll get it going and show everybody and then we'll head over there. Oh. Here we go. Okay. Got to do this, do this. I forgot. It takes like a minute for the tubes to warm up. It's an old tube type server. <clears throat> Carbon button uh, USB. <laughs> but boy, does she hum when she gets warmed up. Like to see the station manager now, he would just before it was it was dead air. Dead air. It was dead air. Fill it with something. Do your act. Do he knew I was a comic? Do your act. Whether the news guy news guy didn't show up one day. He's get him. I get on there and I start doing uh, news. He, that it's a union job, so he's like. He would just scream silently, like, but he would silently scream at the top of his lungs all the time. He, we called him Lou Grant. I mean, he was kind of like Lou Grant, but he was one of these retired TV professionals. What the hell was his name? I just remember calling him Lou Grant. Yes, sir, Mr. Grant. Do your act. Don't read the news. Do your act. So
So my career as a newsreader ended before it really even began. Okay, there we go. Now I can do this. Zero drop frame, supposedly. Can I... Can I watch this? Yes and no. Let me try this. Sorry, well, while, while you're getting your credit cards out, while you're getting your credit cards all scratched up, did you ever see George Steinbrenner on Saturday Night Live? He was magnificent. Totally made fun of himself. Yeah. Quick draw McGar over there. Didn't want to get his new credit card all scratched up. I love it. He was really good. <clears throat> No, that won't work. That's okay. Okay, okay. I'll mess with that later. Here we go. Okay, so let me see if it's working. My own custom designed player guy helped me build. Yeah, it's working. See the black bars. It's something about the I'm, I'll fix that. But if you go, if you go large screen like this, then it plays large screen and it's gorgeous as you can plainly see. Isn't that gorgeous? And then there's the controller down here. So you can hover or tap and get access to con the controller. So uh, under settings, under that little gear, you can choose your resolution. You can crank it down to 240p if you want. And on a phone, it still looks gorgeous. Look, that's 240p on a phone. Okay, that'll save your bandwidth. And then there's a cast button. Okay. And there's a picture-in-picture a -picture button. So it'll overlay any other app that you have open. So you could have the video playing in picture in picture okay and then you can see the chat all right do picture in picture and then you can still see the chat try that channel and see if that works so on the video player what did i just do what did i do what did i do what did i do on the video player next to the little gear icon between the gear icon and the cast button, there's picture in picture. And that shrinks it down so it covers. You can move it around anywhere you want. And then you can have the chat open to see if that helps. I don't know if that'll work on your tablet or not. Or anybody else's phone. So that's what, that's another way you can do it, okay? So hi, Allard. Hi, Earl. Hi, Lyle. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Spartan. So tonight what we're going to talk about is um, we're going to talk more about Columbine. We're going to do a little more this preview of what's coming up about Columbine, okay? And if it's not okay. So thank you, YouTube. Get, get plugged in. Just click the link in the description of this video. It's going to get better and better every week, too. Okay, so thank you so much. Good night. God bless. Spay and neuter your cannibals, please. And we'll see you over at the Cool Kids site. What am I doing wrong? I... Which one do I stop? I don't stop that one. No, I do this. Sorry. Sorry. 
I knew it would come to me. Popeye is in the cloud seeding of Ho Chi Minh Trail. Right. They have been doing cloud seeding over the west coast of the United States. You know that, right? Now they're bitching they got too much rain. In other words, they're humble bragging they got too much rain, even though it, they don't get the credit. Heart bounces off the ionosphere. No, baby bull. These are like straight down laser blasts. Have you seen those? Maybe you have. Maybe you know what. Maybe you know more about it than I do. It's possible. But they looked real, and I just read somewhere. I heard on a podcast somewhere they were actually airplane-mounted lasers. They're just green carbon dioxide lasers. They're probably just for surveying or something. But they did look... I'm like, what the hell? Because that was on somebody's doorbell camera. That wasn't like a staged video. Well, I mean, it could be staged, but... Well, here's the thing, Dub. A laser that could start a wildfire from a satellite would also require a lot of power. So I don't know how much power they can launch into space. And then, but it seemed like they were testing the accuracy of a more powerful laser. Are you with me? <laughs> like it looked, it looked like a test. And then all of a sudden there's this catastrophic fire that like, how come now? Like it's, it is, and they won't let anybody in there. They won't let anybody in there. They act like it's some kind of a test zone. So I don't know what's going on. Because you know that last spy balloon that they didn't tell people about? You know that's what caused the cell phone outage, right? Was it a Chinese test or was it an American test? Or, or and does it matter? When what is the difference? Get plugged in, Dub. Get plugged in. All right, we'll see you over there.